You might be wondering, when does all this end? There really is one way out of a pandemic. The germs run out of people to infect. This has happened in a variety of ways, except for obviously the worst, the pandemic wipes out all people. Let's call this the apocalypse endgame. But it's been closer than you think. For example, humanity's greatest nemesis, the plague, came out of China in 541 AD with its first outbreak called the Plague of Justinian, which is estimated to have killed half of the world's population. Once basically the only people left alive were immune, the plague receded, having nowhere else to go. Let's call this the musical chairs endgame. The plague's next big pandemic surge came out of China in 1347 and hit Europe so hard it became known as the Black Death. Over the course of four years, 200 million people were dead, about one third of the global population. Now for hundreds of years, the plague would come in waves, but humanity learned and started to invent measures such as social distancing and quarantine. By the 1800s, as cities grew larger, they were hit with another deadly bacterial pandemic, cholera. After Pasteur and Koch discovered germs, bacteria, and the importance of sanitation, bacterial pandemics mostly became a thing of the past. Now the plague isn't gone, it's still out there to this day. It's really endemic in prairie dogs? And around 100,000 people a year die of cholera, but we learn what to do to make them less dangerous. This is the learn to live with it endgame. But viruses are a whole other ball game and far more difficult to beat by like moving the toilet out of the living room. Our oldest and greatest viral nemesis, smallpox, originated up to 3,000 years ago, and it spread literally everywhere and killed one third of everyone it touched. So if the plague didn't kill you, well, smallpox probably did. In the 1550s, Europe experienced a mysterious viral pandemic called the English sweating sickness, which could kill people in under an hour from infection. Its pandemic ended by all accounts by just disappearing into thin air, which is usually the case for viruses that are so deadly an infected person dies before they can get very far. It's the overachiever germs endgame. The constant battle with smallpox is what is responsible for the invention of the vaccine in 1796, which I have a whole video on alone. Through the 1800s, vaccination became so commonplace that smallpox deaths just plummeted. But in 1890, we had another huge viral pandemic, mostly referred to as the 1890 pandemic. It also came out of Asia, Russia to be exact, and spread like wildfire through a much more global world thanks to steam engines. In the span of two years, it killed over one million people, but started to diminish in power as basically everyone had been exposed to it and developed some kind of immunity. It is still kicking around though, being one of the handful of endemic coronaviruses that causes what we call the common cold. When you get a really bad cold that just wipes you out, that could very likely be the 1890 pandemic virus. But this was all just practice because in 1918, on the tail of World War I, a viral influenza exploded across the globe. Throw away the whole Spanish flu thing. Its origins are, are murky. Its largest early outbreak actually occurred in Kansas. It spread fast. Within two years, it infected one third of all people on the planet, killing 100 million of them. That's more than the Black Death killed in a century. After two years of hell, the virus rapidly mutated to be less fatal through a process called attenuation, where the virus starts to kill less people so they walk around more and infect more people. After those two years, it quickly faded from daily life, and it is out there with all of the other strains of flu. In fact, the H1N1 swine flu pandemic was caused by pretty much the same virus. Both 1890 and 1918 had endemic endgames, meaning it's literally just everywhere. So we all just kind of choose to ignore it. The 20th century had other viral pandemics, such as polio, which hit pandemic levels in the 1940s and killed one in 10 people affected. In 1955, thanks to science, an extremely effective vaccine was developed, which by 1979 eradicated the virus from the United States. And a year later, in 1980, smallpox, humanity's unending pandemic, was declared fully eradicated from the face of the planet. These two examples, polio in the developed world and smallpox globally, are pretty much the only time we ever hit that zero 
germ endgame, which can only truly occur through near universal vaccination. The verdict is out on our current as I record this pandemic. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Why are you listening to me? Just get vaccinated and please get boosted. Thank you.